quick little lowdown on what I'm doing. I have this exhaust, as you can see here. It's a five inch turbo back exhaust. The exhaust that was on this truck was a four inch and it ended up just falling off. All of the hangers rusted out or something like that, or the welds were terrible. It literally just fell off a couple weekends ago and I eventually just pulled the whole thing off because it was just kind of dangling there. So I'm slapping this brand new five inch turbo back exhaust in real quick because I found some 40s two and a half hours away that'll fit these 26 by 16s. And I wanna slap those on and get them balanced tonight so that tomorrow I can wake up and I'm gonna head over and hang out with some of my buddies, bring the truck. They have trucks and we'll get some footage. The rest of the old exhaust is out. Absolute piece of junk. This is the setup right here. Got the step ladder so I can climb up, undo my exhaust clamp, which I just did. And then down here, we got the new exhaust going in. Ouch, right there, slapping that bad boy in. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, update, I got that exhaust on. Sounds freaking mint. I didn't end up going to get those 40s just because it was getting too late by the time I finished up the exhaust. So I'm gonna go get those either tomorrow or the next day, hopefully. Uh, they're just such a good deal. I don't want to pass them up and I want to see what this truck looks like on 40s. I don't know if I'll like it more than these 35s that are on here. Just because of the stretched tire look, I feel like it looks pretty cool. But I'm on the road right now, headed to Joplin, Missouri to meet up with my buddy Tyler, AKA Fool's Gold. We're gonna grab some content of the trucks and hopefully go to a meet. I don't know if it'll be a very big meet, but I think there's a meet. So we'll go and get some truck content, have a good time. I'll try to film as much as I can. But yeah, that's the update on that. I'll catch you guys later. Just rolled up. This right here is why I wanna get 40s. Somehow it didn't de-bead all the way, but what the actual freak, dude. That's insane. You can literally fit your finger in between there. It's like, for the last 30 minutes, I've been watching it through my rear view mirror, just waiting for it to de-bead, but it's still holding there. Is that thing stock? Yeah. Yeah. That's what, that's what I thought. It's got a two-inch level kit, BDS. Yeah. Good looking level kit. Spray paint? Uh, okay. right, yeah, yeah. yeah Rust-Oleum special. I put these factory speakers in there. Factory? Yeah. Have the trucks parked up as you can see it looks so good i just had to get this little clip real quick Sheesh. sound system come with? Uh, one speaker. My dad paid 98% and my truck uh -huh. paid 2%. So yeah. I got a, you know, piece, piece yeah, yeah. I feel you, I feel you. Tyler, you hear anything? 
Nah. I even have gears on. What's that? Looks like M M audio sounds. All right, Tyler. So I got a 2019 Cummins 2500. I've done a lot of things to this. People probably have seen it on my Instagram, Pulls Gold underscore 6.7. We did an eight inch BDS lift kit with the four link system. 24 by 14 American forces on 36s. We got everything powdered under the suspension. The only thing that's not painted or powdered is the frame. Uh, we got loose auto parts, switchback mirror lights. We did powder coats in the front. We got the full axles are powdered. Ballard's auto paint and body did all my paint work. Most of the silver is done by Ballard's. GQR powder coating out of Kyosho. They did all my powder coating, most of the teal. Oh yeah, can't forget the powder coated spike lug nuts. Yes Let sir. GQR powder coating does an amazing job. And what color, did you say what color that was? It's teal, that's all I can teal. tell you. Yes sir. I like uh, it. However, we did have prismatic powder to it. Yeah. Uh, you can't also, give up the exact color, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. So it's just teal. Also, we got the um, FAMP LED pod lights, super yep. bright lights. And they would be on, but... They would be on, yeah. but my dad <laughs> paid for them, so... He got my, the eBay specials. Yeah, since my dad paid for them, as you can see. Moving here, I got a bush light Apple uh, format. It keeps my floors clean. My dad told me not to get it dirty. From the factory. Yeah, he got mad because this got dirty here. But it's, it's no big deal. I told him I'd clean it with my toothbrush. Um, so I got the Edge Monitor CTS in here. It is deleted and tuned. Uh, not sure if I should say that or not, but whatever. Anything goes on YouTube. Anything. You right? Uh, and then in my doors, so Eminem Audio, the best place you can go. They do all of my custom interior audio anything you can name accessory wise uh so we did a full blue wave marine audio sound system four tens in the cab with two tens let's in the see bed. it let's see it uh we did nine inch speakers in the doors here don't mind the mess these are nine inch with high output compression tweeters uh so they did the custom engraved uh, laser etched plaque there that says my logo in it also says eminem audio uh, and then like i said four tens there so there's uh, eight nines in here with compression tweeters in the dash as well. Now we move into the bed. Actually, let's let's come over here to the amp rack. So all my amps are right here in this RAM box. And uh, they did a really good job. Eminem does the best wiring. I don't care what people say. Uh, you will not go wrong going to Eminem Audio. I highly uh, suggest them 100%. Yeah, that's clean. So we have some big plans for this. Um, some plans with the ram boxes, the lids, but I'm not gonna say it yet until it's done. So let's move into the bed. Got these handy dandy buttons. Pop this. I got the retract system bed liner or bed cover. So I can open it from the remote. They did six nines in here as well as two tens, all blue wave audio. Uh, all custom box. They built everything for it. So very happy with the sound system. Very loud and it's always an eye catcher everywhere. Um, also, we got the, let me put this up. We got the Genuine hitch here. Shout out to Genuine. They hooked me up big time on this and this thing is monstrous. Like in picture video, it looks like nothing, but this thing is huge, wouldn't you say? Yeah, keep in mind the truck's on an eight inch lift, 35s. By the way, I probably will never use this thing. I don't know. No, no, yeah, yeah, you got. Is this useless or no? Remember you got that uh, orange 44 foot trailer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Remember that one? one? Yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, he took my trailer. That's your trailer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He printed his name on it. And it hooks up straight to that one. It's yeah. actually custom built for Tyler's Hitch. Yeah, I just put this Tyler's upside hitch. down. Yep. And then I just hook straight on. Uh, so then you move up under here. And big shout out to my friends at Horn Blaster, especially Tyler. Uh, they hooked me up with a full six horn train kit, uh, Goliath mount. They built it for my truck. Uh, super, super loud horns, and I think that's a five gallon tank. Not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's five gallon. Right on. And you said it at the beginning, but what's your social media at? On uh, my Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, all that's at Bulls Gold underscore 6.7. Go give it a follow right and uh, let me know what you think of the truck.
Gotta love it. Pulled over on the way home. Oh boy. Just made it home without losing a tire, which is surprising as can be. I got pulled over once. Apparently you're not supposed to drive going 250 miles an hour. I didn't know, so he just let me off with a warning. Got all four tires still on the rig, so it's a plus. We back. Of course I had to wait too long to get those 40s and somebody already went and got them, but I did do this. Finally got the windshield tinted and all around, I just put five over what was already on there. So I have 1% all around the truck and 35 on the shield. So you can't see, you can't see through there at all. I'm happy with it and we'll hop inside real quick. We'll see what it looks like. Ugh. Of course that has to be dinging. There we go have that over there because you can't roll the windows down for 24 hours but as you can tell it's ceramic you can literally see right through and then on the shield here there's braids right there but yeah you can see straight through it from in here i picked it up late last night and was driving it around for a couple hours the windshield i was able to see straight through these sides were a little harder to see through it because i can't roll them down for 24 hours so i would open my door every once in a while but other than that the shield is great. I can see straight through it. Honestly, I'm probably going to do a dark brow. I might try to do double five or something for a brow. But yeah, that's that. I'm stoked with the window tint. It's been well overdue. The truck and all the photos, you can literally just see straight through the windshield. It's like it's fishbowling. And not getting those 40s makes me just more motivated to get some 26 by 16 forge wheels with 40s on them. So I'm going to try to find some of those. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out. I'll see you next time. <laughs>